Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a and something new. I've decided to do something new. What I'm going to do is do a singles reading for December 15th to the 31st. Now this this is going to be for the elements, okay? So I just did the fire signs. Now I'm going to do the water signs, and we are going to do the water signs for singles. This is for singles. Singles. Single. Ready to mingle. Single and ready to mingle. So we're going to do a singles love reading for the 15th to the 31st. Okay? For Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. We're going to get one of these, then we're going to break into that deck. What do we have for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the end of December, the 15th to the 31st, in regards to love for singles? Singles. Singles. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Singles. If you're not single, this reading is not for you. Trust me, it's not. The Temple Path. It looks like you guys are heading down a new road towards something very, very heavenly. Okay? You are. You're heading down a new road towards something that is beautiful. You're headed to a beautiful destination, okay? It could be even leading to, towards marriage, whatever this is. I mean, because people will often get married in there, so I don't know. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, singles. What do they need to know? Remember, this is being recorded on the 13th. So this is for December 15th. Could have be happening now to the 31st. If it doesn't resonate right now, then check back later. Okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mm. You could be ending one relationship right now. You've just gotten out of a relationship and you're newly single. You could be getting into a new one as well. Oh my goodness. You're looking for stability, huh? And it looks like you may be finding it. You may be finding it. But you're still holding on to something. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you haven't completely let go of something here, huh? Holding on, and it's getting old. You're holding. You could be holding on to a relationship that's hindering a new one that could lead to stability, security, and something long term. Mm. There's some bad karma here. Somebody's not acting with integrity. Somebody's not doing the right thing. I think that somebody is not receiving a gift or not receiving their reward because they're holding on to something that they shouldn't be holding on to. But you have an opportunity. This is a path. You have an opportunity. This is gold and that house is hold gold. You have an opportunity to move to a new place that is more abundant. But it looks like you guys are holding on to some sort of dead end relationship. If you're still if you're single and you're still holding on to a dead end relationship, well, <laughs> you're not bringing justice. You're you're doing yourself an injustice. Somebody's not acting with integrity here and I'm sorry to say that. They're not. They're holding on to a dead end situation that is a lie and therefore they're not they don't have anything you don't have anything to you're not going to receive anything you're not there's nothing to celebrate there's no joy in holding on to a relationship that's not compatible oh god and you do have a new one you have an opportunity for new love here but you need to come out of this darkness you need to realize you need to realize that you truly, 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 truly have a better opportunity. This is realizing. But you don't have the mental strength to let go. You're not letting go of somebody that doesn't serve you. I can't make this shit up. God damn it. To get what you deserve. Now, oh God, let me focus this. Um, basically, these cards are the same. 
I mean, this is in the minor, this is in the major, okay? Somebody isn't getting what they deserve, and you de it's look like it looks like you deserve this love. You deserve this partnership, but because somebody is not doing the right thing, you know, they're not finding the mental strength to make a move, not finding the ability to face opposition, not finding the ability to let go of a dead-end situation. You know, you have to release to receive your reward. So it looks as though you have an opportunity to make a decision, but you're not doing it. So it looks like you have an opportunity for new love, but it's delayed. It's delayed because you're not making a move. Oh my goodness. This is coming out of darkness. It's like you have an opportunity to come out of this darkness to see the light. And it looks like you may be starting to realize that you do have a better opportunity, but you're still holding on. This is holding on to a dead end situation, not finding the strength. Now, these are both transformation cards. They're both reversed. You have to go through some sort of transform inner transformation. It's like you're reluctant to let something go that's not logical. It's not real. It's like you're holding on to something that is causing imbalance in your life and you have an opportunity to, you know, bring balance back and to, to find love, but you have to release something first. So yeah, even if you are single, you it's like you you you're not you're not being logical, you're not being honest with yourself about something. Um I think that with this 3 of cups reverse, there's a lack of receiving a gift and you may be losing 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 friends losing uh hope and it looks like somebody is giving up a door has been closed be some door had this is a door that has been closed you may be wanting a reunion or wanted a reunion with someone from your past, but because there was no action being taken, I feel like somebody here wants a, wants a reconciliation of some sort and now their hopes have been dashed. And is there, there a new love? Is there a new love for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? Is this Two of Cups newer from the past? I, 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 I think it's somebody from the past. I mean, I really do. I think there was a past relationship and somebody would like a reunion. They want another chance, but the hopes have been dashed. And now you guys are, you know, somebody is getting what they deserve. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. Somebody is getting what they deserve for not be for not doing the right thing. Damn it. Damn it. Somebody didn't do the right thing and now they're getting what they deserve. There's a lot of power struggles here. There's a lot of conflict. You guys are going back and forth with making some sort of offer. It's like or accepting an offer. You don't know what you want. You don't know what you want. I think that right now you're confused. And you are stuck in your head, absolutely. I think that love is around you. And I think that, you know, right now you just can't let go. You can't let go of a relationship that really, really hurt you. And you have an opportunity for abundance. You have an opportunity to, like, go home. Okay, because this is like home. I always see this as going home. Whatever that is. To go home to something that could become a new home or whatever it is. I don't know. But you can't step out of your head. You can't step out of your thoughts. There's a lot of mental power struggles here. And you're holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to. Could be a Leo. I don't know. Um, there's a lack of strength. There's a lack. There is. There's a lack of strength. There's a, there's a lack of willpower. There's a lack of courage here. So I think that you guys probably have an opportunity for a partnership, but you're holding on to the past. 
You're holding on to something that doesn't serve you. You're holding on to a relationship that doesn't serve you. And you have an opportunity to move in a new direction, but you're not doing so. That's what I see. So I can't, I can't, I can't pretend that love is coming in. You do have an opportunity for a partnership here, but there's one relationship that hasn't been let go of. Okay? There's one relationship that has not been let go of. And we can't pretend. It needs to be let go. Okay? I mean, you can t actions speak louder than words, and the universe knows how you feel. I mean, you can pretend until you are blue in their face that you have let go of somebody, but you have you, you, know, you can't lie. This t this says that you're holding on to something, and there is an opportunity for love if you could take action, but you're not taking action. Your thoughts and your fears, and you know, you're unable to step outside of your comfort zone because you know it's comfortable there wherever you're at you feel comf you're safe you're safe so I think that you may have lost an opportunity for love because of your fears and I'm sorry to say that but you do have an opportunity to go down a new path you do have an opportunity but you have to take those steps so do I feel like new love is coming in you know I think that you guys are still holding on to something that needs to be released. You need to transition. You need to go through this transfer. These are both cards of transformation. It's like I'm not allowing it. I'm not allowing it. You know, you have there's there's a there's some sort of relationship that is not love that needs to be released. Okay? It does. And this is like a reunion. Somebody but it's reversed. It's like somebody wants a reunion but they can't find this is mental strength and this is mental strength and this is Somebody can't find the mental strength to <laughs> whatever. Give to it. So I feel like you guys are stuck at this point, and I'm not going to pretend. I am not going to pretend that you're not. You do have an opportunity for love here. You do. You absolutely do. But because you're holding on to something problem yeah yeah you, you know oh god so we have this empress which is taurus or libra somebody somebody didn't see another person's worth and now you know we got a problem now we definitely got a problem because <sighs> there's no growth there's no growth. And I think there's a lot, of, there's fear of, of loss. There's fear of loss. And you may feel like you lost somebody that was worthy. So I feel like you guys are, <laughs> you're either not feeling worthy or you didn't see somebody else's worth. And now you are trapped in your own head And not allowing a relationship to grow. So I think there's been a loss here that is leaving you or is keeping you stuck. I think that you have an opportunity with for love. And I, but I think you're still in love with somebody from your past. Or somebody that you're with. I don't know. You're still in love with somebody that is probably not in love with you anymore. And I'm sorry to say that. But that's, that's what this is. And I feel like you are probably... in the process of, of releasing but it hasn't happened yet so do I think that new love is coming in for you singles there's a, there's there's you know I think that it's around yes I think that it's around but I don't think you can accept it because you're at a loss I think that you're at a loss right now I think you're beginning to realize what has happened and you probably have some regrets and 
Oh God, it's you're stuck. I think that you're stuck. I'm not going to pretty it up and say, yes, love is coming and you're going to get married in the whole fucking nine yards like whoever else is saying that shit. We got somebody here that is stuck because they made the wrong decision and now they're they're not happy with the outcome. Okay, so I feel as though we have a, a healing that is needed, a release that is needed, and somebody needs to go through their their transformation. They need they absolutely need to let go of whatever it is that they are holding on to so that this new love can can grow because there's an opportunity for love here but right now there's no growth because somebody doesn't have the mental strength to let go of something that is holding them back from love and that's exactly what this is it's not happiness right now it's like there's no growth in the relationship that you're in or what you're, whatever it is that you're holding on to so it's keeping you stuck when there is an opportunity for new love so you have to let go of something so that you can have this love and that's what the story is so something needs to be released. So water signs, if you want this love, let go of whatever it is that's in the way. There's, there's, there's a barrier here. There's something in the way that's holding you back from finding this new love. From getting together with this love that whoever it is. Therefore, you're not having the happiness that you desire because you have to take a stand. You have to find the discipline. You do. You do. You are not finding the discipline to take action. So anyway, water signs, I feel as though we have a release here that needs to happen so that you can find love. Maybe at during this time you find that strength to release, but you know, it really doesn't look like you're going to because it's a lack of strength, lack of strength, lack of strength. Okay, somebody doesn't, doesn't have the strength to do the right thing. So I'm sorry, but I'm not going to pretend that this is butterflies and rainbows because it absolutely positively is not. Good luck.